Now this solar is doing wonders. Our extremely large DIY passive solar innovation, as big as 100 square feet, with a roll of 100 meter pipe, has been finally complete and it's giving very surprising results so we have decided to put everything together in pieces for everyone's knowledge and execution as DIY so let us start the first part that is the construction of absorber panel stand stand is done with MS bars. Here we've used bars of 10 mm dia. The total length of one module is 5 feet by 5 feet and it has a height of 22 inches and the inclination of pipe on the two sides of the L measures around 22 degrees. But earlier it was 25 degree, but then if you do it 25 degree, it would be taller than you can imagine. So you reduce the height to 20, 20, reduce the height to 22 inch, and it corresponds to nearly 22 degree. I hope this sketch will give you a complete idea about the dimensions and other aspects of the panel. This is one of the module. You'll have to do four of these. And these modules are combined as shown in the illustration and in the steel snaps. Once the panels are put to the label surface, then the bottom has to be insulated. But before you put the bottom insulation, you might want to put the pipes. This time we've taken a roll of 35 mm dia, which measures 100 meter. And this small clip will, so the way you put these pipes together. Washed out. This is While putting the pipes, <laughs> please note that two ends, this is the panel. one is the top end, which is for the hot water inlet to the tank, Ten and the bottom end. Yeah, Make sure down, you have so enough long. length of the pipe for the connection the to the tank at the lower portion and at the upper portion for the entry and exit of water from the storage tank okay. now the pipes are put in concentric forms that might be very obvious from yeah. the clip so, yeah. now yes. comes the little tedious part of putting insulation at the bottom we have used this ice box which carries this fist and they're very really, pretty cheap. We get it for for five rupees. And I think we'd be able to get as many as sixteen of them in one dollar. So that's not a big money. Get these insulations at the bottom of the panel. You might be using MS wires to tie it to the buds of the stand. Have all the insulations together. At the bottom, once these insulations are put, maybe you might want to seal some of the gaps with these aluminium foils. But you might not do it also because these boxes, EPS board is quite dense and it's not less than. 1.5 inch thick.
once this panel is done you might want to know how you do the barrel connections for the storage tank of the barrel that is there in our other videos but to make it complete let me start the second part of it which is the construction of the storage tank in this video we are not using barrel as a matter of fact but we could have used a barrel but then the process gets that would have delayed the project and we'd have run out of time so there's already a video for the construction of barrel for the storage I said join the clip of our previous video here so that Renault boys can understand it as a part of the system where you're using this innovative panel along with the barrel other things are as usual so let me add the clip of our previous video here 200 liters plastic barrel 54 centimeter dia 95 centimeter length they always have two leads we drill three more the drilling process with household kerosene stove placing the hot gi pipe against the barrel wall creating the holes against the barrel leads with the same gi cleaning the holes for better fixing holes created at the top and on the side wires used to fix the sockets inserting wires and getting it from the other side to fix the sockets Pockets being pulled through the barrel. Fixing the sockets on the barrel. Please note the rubber and the metal one. Tightening the sockets. Now we have three finished sockets of the bottom portion of the tank. Taking measurements for the hot water outlet pipe. Storage tank stand, 54 cm die and 64 cm tall. Fixing the rubber seal and nipples. making the cold water inlet pipe for the absorber panel. Fixing the connections, you can see three of them. Now I'm pretty sure with this illustration everyone would be enticed to do one on their own but don't be scared this is the second day of our installation yesterday it was a bit cloudy but today it was a pretty fair sunshine and our solar is working very well 
by comparing the results of this solar with the solar which you have as you see here there was a very little difference this solar was giving a hot water temperature at 36 degrees celsius and that one was giving 38.8 so there was a marginal difference of 2 degree and the sun was not there was a sun sign of not more than 2 hours so with much work than this I'm sure this solar would be as efficient as the solar which you normally use maybe you might have to do a little bit of bottom sailing at the absorber panel and the sealing of the inlet hot water inlet pipe to the storage tank so that way this solar would be as efficient as normal solar which has around 50 60 square feet of panel and this was 100 square feet of panel you see the cost comparison this solar is three times cheaper than that solar and this is so easy I'm sure you'll do one on your own 100 square feet DIY solar innovation we shall be posting our temperature detail along with the comparison with the normal solar in this week this is a very crucial time because the ambient temperature here is nearly freezing slightly above freezing that's around one degree and the maximum temperature is not more than 15 degree and the gain we have from 0 to 36 degrees celsius that's a lot so this would be a solar to replace the solar which we normally use cheer up guys ciao for now we shall post more details in a week time and I'm sure you guys will be interested to know the DIY miracle wait and watch for it ciao